I hope. Mm. Okay, Enric is also right, okay. All right, here is Enric coming and with Frédéric Vidal also is here. That's great. Wait then. Good morning then everyone and welcome to Utopia Science Fair 2021. And as you know, uh, Utopia is one of the 41 alliances that participate in the European University Initiative, which aims to build the frames of the future higher education ecosystem in Europe. Utopia brings together the Freie Université Brussels or VUB in Belgium, CY Sergi Paris Université in France, the University of Gothenburg in Sweden, the University of Ljubljana in Slovenia and the University of Pompeo Fabra in Spain and the University of Warwick in the United Kingdom. These uh, six universities are well represented in the showcase that we are inaugurating this morning with research posters, abstracts and videos. You can visit the five sections of the exhibition on the Science Fair 2021 menu on our website. To start with the official ceremony, I will ask François Germinet, president of CY Sergi Paris Université, to say some words as a representative of Utopia's strategic board. Please, François, I give you the floor. <coughs> well, thank you. Thank you, Armando. Every, hello, everybody. Uh, on behalf of uh, Eva Weiberg, the president of Gothenburg and president of Utopia, uh, welcome to this uh, first Utopia Science Fair. I'm very happy to be uh, with you and to, to open this, uh, these days uh, and this fair. Um, well, Utopia is a, a great adventure for all our six universities. It's an adventure for students, for uh, uh, the staff, for researchers, for teachers. It's uh, an adventure for uh, future mobility of uh, students between uh, our territories. Uh, and uh, it's uh, also uh, a great adventure for research. We share indeed a lot of research together already some joint PhD, some uh, joint postdocs um, with uh, a great success of the, the recent uh, um, call for uh, science and innovation fellowships, uh, etc. So many things about research, but uh, research is uh, first of all about uh, discovering and sharing, <coughs> discovering new ideas, new concepts, new physical rules, uh, discovering how the world goes and uh, sharing uh, uh, between uh, researchers and sharing with population uh, what is research and what are these uh, what these uh, discovery are and um, this is quite important for us and uh, uh, especially that now we we do not only have to discover new things we have to take care of the planet and uh, research uh, is already uh, a very important point for taking care uh, of the planet and it's, it's going to be uh, more and more so. Uh, so this, uh, this first uh, Utopia uh, Science Fair is uh, indeed, to, to our opinion, a way to show uh, concretely to a broad audience, to a broad public, some of our university research projects in uh, all type of areas, uh, such as uh, physics, chemistry, <coughs> genetics, medicines, environment, uh, climate change, uh, human sciences, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And <coughs> because of the of the covid it's uh, 
uh, our digital solutions to actual problems uh, uh, and to, to share about these problems, about uh, societal challenges. Uh, showcasing research is never a simple exercise. Uh, and uh, these, I believe that these research posters exhibition is an approach to scientific communication indeed. And we hope that this will be an opportunity for all researchers from related disciplines to meet even more than before and to exchange ideas. We also expect to encourage vocations among younger students. Uh, you will see 45 posters and abstracts and videos, and these are just a glimpse, a tiny glimpse of uh, the richness of all the thinking going around in our, our universities, in our, in our six universities. And uh, we hope that uh, our stakeholders will witness some research in applied sciences that could be transformed into valuable uh, initiatives. So let me uh, again welcome you and uh, happy and very nice uh, Utopia Science Fair to everybody. Thank you very much, Francois. Uh, Thank you, Armando. As this showcase is a result of the work of each university, uh, I would like to ask the vice rectors in charge of research or their representatives to share some ideas on how Utopia intends to broaden the horizon for researchers, thanks to the mutualized efforts of the Alliance. And I would like to give uh, um, the floor first to Karin van der Kerken, which is the Vice Rector for Research and Data at the VUB, the Freie Universität Brussels. Please, uh, Karen, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you. So thank you for this warm welcome. I'm thrilled to be here on behalf of the VUB and to explore this digital exhibition. Before we go into that, I'd like to say a few words. Looking at the four key principles of Utopia. One, being geared towards the future. Two, being student-centered and student-empowering. Three, connecting cultures and contexts. And finally, four, our fourth key principle, commitment for openness and inclusion. I can only look at the science fair today and say that all of these elements are fully represented in this very moment. By providing us with such versified and enriched digital exhibition, we've taken up today's challenge to find connection in our research endeavors and learning experiences all over Europe, in spite of distance, quarantines and other limitations of our everyday mobility. Looking at the core research topics displayed here, I find diversity and creativity to be absolutely present within the work of our research participants. I want to extend my gratitude to both the organizers of these events under the lead of Armando Urin and for setting up this virtual edition of this Utopia Science Fair. Thank you. As well to all the candidates here. I admire the inventiveness and resourcefulness they show in order to meet with today's high standards of performing and communicating about research. My gratitude extends to all participants, but of course, and I hope you will forgive me for taking the liberty as a VUB representation to take also take the time to give a special thanks to the eight VUB candidates. We look forward to invite you and many others to projects where we as Utopia focus on students' empowerment so that we can jointly take part in a journey as European citizens and lifelong learners who care and act for the future of the planet and of humanity. It is thanks to our shared drive and willingness to perform research, to talk about research, to organize inclusive and open events that we ultimately find this connection of like-minded people who wish to enhance our European capability and creativity. Together, we are extending our horizon, not only what it means to do research today, but also what impact our research has on the world in the future. I shall end this talk by saying that our Alliance intends to continue to support knowledge in co-creation with open events and dynamic platforms such as these. Thank you. Thank you very much, Karen. Uh, I will give the floor now to Ingela Dalhoff. She's Pro Dean at the Department of Biological and Environment Sciences at the University of Gothenburg. Please, Ingela, the floor is yours. Thank you, Armando. 
<clears throat> so, my name is Ingrid Dahle. I'm from the University of Gothenburg, whom I represent today. Otherwise, I'm the Pro Dean of the Faculty of Science. And like we've already heard, to be a part of Utopia opens many opportunities for collaboration and advancement of science within all disciplines, as well as, I would like to add, across disciplines. For example, for topics like sustainability and health. Today, uh, UGOT has contributions from the Medical Sorgenska Academy uh, and the Faculty of Science. But in the future, you will be able to get insight to our other faculties as well, including our many research facilities that we have at our disposal and that we would like to welcome you to. One of them is pictured here behind me. It's one of our marine research stations. I have a personal uh, a responsibility for PhD education, and I look forward to, together with you, both as leadership teachers, but also students and not least postdocs, develop PhD education within Utopia in order to give our, all our PhD students and younger researchers an excellent start in their future careers. So I hope you will all will enjoy the science fair and that we will see each other in the future again. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, uh, uh, Ingela. I will give now the floor to Simona Ratai. Simona is head of the Department for Strategic Marketing and uh, at the Knowledge Transfer Office of University of Ljubljana. Please, Simona. Thank you, Armando. Well, excellence has always been tightly connected to science. For more than a decade, research became inseparably connected to impact and to inclusiveness. And last year in the Research and Innovation Days organized by European Commission, we have learned that the new excellence is impact. These are powerful words by Commissioner Maria Gabriel. So not just businesses, scientists, researchers are expected to positively impact the lives of Europeans to make their lives better whether they live in the most Eastern or the most Western parts of European Union. In addition to excellent education and research, European universities shall focus on their third strategic mission, knowledge and technology transfer. So we need to connect societal challenges with experts who can solve them. We need to showcase invention that is being developed at our universities. And we need to connect both parties and support them in the innovation creation processes. Today, University of Ljubljana is presenting 11 technologies from various research areas, from pharmacy, green agriculture, from digital processing and environmental technologies. You are kindly invited to read about them and to watch our researchers presenting their expertise. Looking forward to working with other utopian universities, other utopian researchers and of course to wider european society thank you very much and back and uh, back to you armando thank you simona um i will give now the floor to enric valduvi enric is vice rector for research at the university of pompeo fabra in barcelona please enric the floor is yours uh thank you very much armando hi everyone um no it's 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 great it's a pleasure to be able to um Particip participate in the opening of the Utopia Science Fair, because um, I, I think that an essential uh, ingredient in us being to co collaborate successfully is uh, mutual knowledge, and uh, the science fair for me is an excellent instrument in that in that um, in that sense. Um, we have here a showcase of um, research in all the different disciplines in which we uh, we work, each one of us, and. Um, that is going to be, uh, I think, a very useful tool, uh, along with other things, other initiatives that are being being carried out, um, both uh, within the um, Utopia 2050 Erasmus project and the Utopia Train uh, project, that will help us uh, mutually understand, mutually know each other, and understand where our needs are, um, and 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 the specific um, hooks on which we can uh, rely on to establish synergies. Um, in that respect, um, um, I want to mention that um, um, there's a we have a, a very interesting test bed 
uh, which is a proposal that was submitted to the Green Deal call within the Horizon 2020. Um, and I think three uh, out of the six universities were directly involved and the others are indirectly involved. So if that is successful, which I, I really hope, that's gonna be a, a very important step forward. Uh, of course, we also have the Utopia uh, CIF uh, co-fund um, uh, initiative within the Marie, Curie, Marie Slowska Curie uh, program. And that is up and running. We are now, uh, uh, as uh, many of uh, the people hearing us here know, uh, intensively engaged in, in one of the uh, stages in the selection uh, procedure of candidates. Um, and I think that's also going to be a, a very important tool in the sense that all of these postdocs that are going to join this program uh, will be basically hosted in one university, but they have an obligatory secondment in another uh, university. And that will, of course, foster mutual, mutual knowledge. Um, and I think that should lead the way to um, other collaborations, you know, from the many opportunities in the um, Marie Curie programs um, to why not ERC synergy grants. And I think there's a lot of uh, potential in the SWAFs uh, type calls within the, uh, the next uh, uh, Horizon Europe, Europe, well, the next, it's here already, the Horizon Europe program. So I think it's a, a perfect step in the right direction. And basically because any successful initiatives, they may be um, pushed top, top bottom, but um, top down, I mean, but they really need to come bottom up. So uh, mutual knowledge is, is what will take us there. So thank you very much for the initiative. And I'm, I'm very happy, as I said, to be uh, a part of this. Thank you, thank you, Henrik. And uh, it is indeed important to to um, highlight all the other initiatives we are uh, engaged in uh, at Utopia. I will give the floor now to Kerry Kirwan. Kerry is Deputy Pro Vice Chancellor for Research at the University of Warwick. The floor is yours. Thank you, Armande. Um, good morning, everyone, and, and uh, hello from Warwick. And Thank you, firstly, to all the organisers and the participants of today. Um, appreciate the amount of effort that's gone into this under circumstances we perhaps didn't envisage it having to happen in. So many thanks there. Um, at Warwick, like our utopian partners, uh, our core effort of our research strategy recognises that in order for us to maintain our, our presence, our world leading presence, we have to be committed to appointing and developing our, our best academics and nurturing our future talents. So today's part of that, and I hope that uh, it's a start of something much, much bigger to come along uh, in the future. Uh, today, I think you're seeing some uh, uh, cutting edge research that's coming from our, our interdisciplinary biomedical research doctoral training program. Um, this is just a snapshot of some of the work we've got going on at, at Warwick, but it does involve multiple disciplines. Um, you're going to hear about work that uh, is, combines things like machine learning and whether it could be used to uh, support diagnosis of pneumonia and bronchitis, whether we can look back in history and find historical medical uh, remedies that could be provide new future opportunities for us now. Um, at, at Warwick, we've got um, so, sort of 1,700 doctoral students and they are combined within a number of CDTs and, and doctoral training programs. They're very varied and they have been built on the back of working with the best partners. So we have lots of multiple university programs and the ones moving forward with Utopia are just as exciting. One of the mechanisms that Enric is just talking about, we're really looking forward to those coming online. And I really hope that in the, the next iteration of this event and future events, we start seeing some, some work and some posters and developments coming through from our jointly supervised PhDs from here in Utopia. But for today, I wish you the best of luck and I hope uh, you all have, get a lot of value out of this really important meeting. Thank you, Kerry, for your nice words. And uh, uh, I would like to give now the floor to Frédéric Vidal. He is Vice President for Research at uh, CY Sergi Perry University. Please, Frédéric. Thank you, Armando, and uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I will be really short because many things have been already uh, discussed uh, today. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank Armando and his team who made the organization of uh, Science Fair possible. And uh, um, I would like also to thank all the participants and a special thank also for 
those who take time and able to do the video and uh, the poster are much more interesting with the video. So thank you all of you. And uh, for the first edition, uh, uh, while uh, the majority of uh, researchers do not know each other, uh, I was really impressed by the number of posters and uh, by also the scientific fields, uh, which have been uh, covered uh, during the science fair. Maybe we, we will be able to do uh, more the next time, but uh, the result uh, is very promising and can be uh, assumed that many collaboration will be established in the near future, which is the goal also of the uh, Utopia Alliance. As uh, you know, Utopia Alliance is uh, as a goal to develop common research, innovation, and even strategies by sharing resources and knowledge between researchers. And uh, unfortunately, the pandemic has, show, uh, has shown us again the necessity to address the sustainable development goals. And uh, Utopia is for sure uh, the best uh, tool for conducting su such a research. And for that reason, that uh, such event is really important because we have to share knowledge. Beyond um, uh, research, um, Utopia also is an excellent tool for visibility, attracting funding, as has been discussed already, and for attracting talented uh, young researchers who will, who will come in our labs uh, in order to help us to develop uh, research. And of course, as uh, many people, it's, it's, a pity, it's a pity that only virtual exhibition uh, is possible. And uh, we hope that the next time will be possible to do it in person. I hope so. And because we know that uh, it's really important to open a new uh, research uh, perspective. So uh, thank you uh, very much for this uh, initiative. Uh, thank you, Armando. Thank you, Frédéric. And uh, thank you all for being here. As we arrive at the end of this ceremony, let me thank all the persons involved in this initiative in each university and the contributors themselves. Um, uh, François made a small, a small mistake. He, he said 45 posters. No, it's 54 posters, uh, research posters uh, uh, in, in the hall, which is, which is better than 45, actually. So thank you, all of you, for being here. I know a, a lot of, of contributors are present today, and I thank you very much. We thank you very much for having uh, worked so in such so short notice to Keep to get up this, put up uh, this uh, the research fair. As um, Frederic was saying uh, uh, just now, uh, we, it is just the first uh, science fair. We have a second science fair to come at uh, the end of 2022. So we will have the time to prepare that one, perhaps with a little more. Um, well, more, more contributions. I want to remind you that the science fair is open for three months until the 15th May. Open means, in this case, uh, available and in, on our website. And we will organize specific sessions with the contributors and, uh, as, uh, during these, uh, these um, three months. And I want to remind you that we also prepared a, um, a round table about scientific communication uh, on the February 25th. So just save the date. It is important. It will be very interesting. And I'm very already receiving contributions from every university of Utopia. Thank you all again for taking the time to open this science fair and contribute with your presence to the outreach of European research. Goodbye and have a nice week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye to everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.